hi guys and welcome back to the channel um today i thought we would do something a little bit different i've always wanted to go through a sketchbook tour with you guys of my sketchbook um and this one is my very first one so on the front here you see my two stickers um the aerial ones i didn't do myself a friend gave to me um she got them in a sticker pack and I love Disney, as a lot of you will know. So there's that. And then um, my little dragon guy at the very top. I'm going to pick him up so you can see him a little bit better. Um, these that I have, um, I actually have a stock of these. So when I do open my Etsy shop, um, these I'm deciding to give away as little freebies. Because when I ordered them, <laughs> I, didn't, um, I didn't quite think of the size and how small they actually would be um so these guys are actually going to be freebies uh for giveaways for once i actually get my etsy shop up and running so let me get that guy back in um position <laughs> and uh let's get started so the first page what you're gonna see is my fire elemental um, now in this sketchbook, there are, as you can see, this started back in January of 2020. Um, and I actually just roughly finished it, um, finished going through it. I should say not every piece that's in here is going to be, um, not every piece that's in here is going to be finished. Um, because this one actually is a trace of a piece that I've already actually done it looks just like this only it's different Ugh. so that piece in particular I'm gonna open up to it it's in my portfolio actually looks like this and it came out of that sketchbook um, this is my fire elemental uh, but that is what I did I retraced her in there so that I would have her, I actually took her out for a book I'm working on out of like the many that I have going um, for me right now. But she is one of four sisters. And if you guys want to hear more about that um, on the channel, just let me know down in the comment section below. And I can go into a video about some of the stories that I'm writing, the books, the characters behind everything. So... Uh, here we go into her sister. This is obviously the water elemental. I kind of like the way the some of the water drops looked. Um, looking back now, if I had an opportunity to fix some of these or change the way some of them look or just, you know, anything like that in general, I totally would. Um, there's a lot of things that I've learned now that a year ago when I was doing some of these... Um, I mean, they looked good at the time, but now that I'm looking back on them, I can see some of the mistakes. But you know what? It's all about growth. It's all about learning. Um, I'm actually going to skip two pages because, as you can see, the bleed on some of them. So I did skip some pages in here. So some of them are going to be blank. Um, and this one I'm actually really happy about. And if I can zoom in on some of this, you can see the texture in the rocks that came out and this is all done in alcohol marker um the only thing on here that isn't alcohol marker is the gold border around um i did that with metallic watercolor painting or watercolor paint not painting <laughs> but um i think this one i'm really happy with the way she came out if i could change anything about this piece um, one, I'd make the vines a little bit thicker than what they are, but two, and like the one that may not be so obvious to other people, but I seen it is her waist is incredibly tiny for her actual size because up here is as wide as it is and her hips is as wide as it is. It looks like she wore a corset for forever and it just cinched her weight into a spine. <laughs> um, so if I could change one thing, that's what I would change on that one. Um, and here's an example of a piece that I never finished. I was working on wind, um, the wind elemental, and it never worked out for me. I didn't like the way it was coming out, so I stepped back from that. And I said, you know what? Um, 
I am not going to, uh, in any way, shape, or form, finish this one. So I didn't. And there's nothing wrong with that. A sketchbook is meant for you to practice things and look at things. Um, a couple of these I might just flip through. This is just um, an elven girl I was practicing. Um, now, getting into some of these. This piece was actually a art prompt that we did. Um, I'm a part of Safira Lou's Discord group. And um, if you guys don't know who Safira Lou is, I can totally like throw her link down in the description box below. Um, I actually have a few artists of different things that I was doing in here. So if I come across a piece that I've worked on in here that belongs to another artist or like this as a prompt list in another artist's um, community, I'll put their links to their channels or Instagrams, whatever it is, down in the description box below because I believe in giving artists credit where credit is due. Um, so this one is Flower Maiden. It's one of the art prompts. I didn't do a lot out of her art prompt list. I was kind of feeling under the weather when we were doing these ones, but um, I'm actually really happy with the way her hair came out. Um, I could work a little bit better on the flowers, but I'm pretty happy with this piece. Um, this one I love. Love, love, love to death. Uh, this is also another one out of Saphir Lou's. Um, this one was the Star Dryad, and um, mine was she rides on the moon at night um, right when the sun goes down and she starts putting the stars in the sky which is why it's like daylight fading into nighttime um, and I'm really really happy with the piece I, I love the color scheme and I'm, I'm happy with the way she came out because she's just like made of stars and it's really beautiful in my opinion <laughs> Um, now here is another, um, of Sophia Lou's art prompts, and I believe this one was Cactus Cat for the daily prompt. Um, she has an adorable Cactus Cat character, um, named Prickles, and so I, this is my interpretation of Prickles, I guess, and, um, the pot of cac cactuses inside of a cactus. <laughs> Um, here is a piece that I did a draw this in your style. I can never say her name, but again, I will have her art handle. So you can see it right on the side here. Let me pick this up for you guys. There is her information. Like I said, I will put it in the description box below so you can go and check it out. Um, if you guys scroll through your Instagrams and you see things like draw this in your styles, um, do it. I encourage you to do them. It, um, makes you think out of the box plus you get to do a piece of an artist that you admire in your own style um and i did this with alcohol markers and um i'm actually pretty happy with the way the hair came out the feathering in the hairs i'm happy with this um here's another piece from uh Safira Lou's drawing prompts and i'm pretty sure this one was water witch I'm not too happy with the way it came out. I do, however, love the way that this heart came out. And I have to pick it up and show you guys. Because this one came out really cool. Um, I'm happy with the shading on the heart here. Um, I, I just like the way that it looks in general. Um, but that's probably the only thing that I like in this entire piece. is just this. <laughs> um, missed a page. Skipping pages. There we go. Um, and here is another prompt from Saphir Lou's prompt list. And this one was Fortune Teller. And this one I just did more in a form of a sketch. Um, coming to Little Miss Cupcake. I'll show you that page in a second. So let me open this. Let me open it. Please. Thank you. Um... <laughs> So, in this, um, Little Miss Cupcake was a character that I came up with. I did a whole outfit, as like you can tell, that I, as that page is coming up right there, I um, drew that on another paper, and I really loved the way it came out. I did those before I did that, because this one came out kind of like, and I'm, I'm not really happy with the way that came out. But nothing says I can't come back to it in the future and redo it. Um, so the concept for Little Miss Cupcake was her hair was actually made out of frosting. 
Um, and I don't know if you guys follow like Lord Grizz or Miss Serendipity, but they do a lot of like cutesy characters and I was kind of taking inspiration from them um, and I made my own food based character. So there's that. <laughs> um, here's just a page of some doodles that went south and you know, they're not always going to look pretty, but I was just warming up and I didn't care how they came out. I was just loosening up before I came up with a really cool piece. Um, and that's this little lady right here. Um, a nice thing about this is in the future, this will be a print that I sell in my shop. I actually have, don't remember what, I, oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hold that thought. <laughs> I, um, I have a folder, a folder with all the things. So what I did with this piece, um, and I'll actually lay this down so you guys can see to scale. <laughs> Two different sizes. Um, I, I sketched this out, scanned it, threw it on my computer, sketched over it, made some thicker lines and everything, um, and then I traced over my line work with this. I used a light box, um, and then I did this, and I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. So I'm going to make a print of this, and when I do, I'll fix a few of the you know, tones that are on here and just adjust some things. And I might just keep this print or I might sell this original. So we'll see how that goes. But um, here's another sketch I was just working on. Trying to practice folds in clothing. Um, her elbow realistically was supposed to be leaning on something, but I was terrible with the foreshortening. So there's that. Also practicing hands. A very, very quick sketch of my D&D character, Thea, um, who is a white dragonborn. This is not what she looks like, but uh, I was I was in a hurry trying to show somebody what she looked like, and that's what I did. Getting into May, Mermaid of 2020. Um, this one, I actually did my own prompt list. So I did, um, I think I was under the concept of like two prompts, um, two prompts a week. Instead of like one every day, because realistically, I'm like, I don't have the wherewithal to do that every day. So um, I did some prompts. And then this one was royalty. So I was trying to do uh, Queen Mara of Atlantis. Just a quick sketch. You know, not every piece has to be finished. Um, this one I actually did with acrylic paint. And I was, I two folded it because I wanted to test to see if this sketchbook would actually take media other than you know pencil <laughs> um and this one was silent sand so i gave her a blindfold and she's laying in some sand i like the way her fins came up and the texture on her her scales is i'm happy with as well um this one was best buddy so she has a little crab best buddy is her crab it's your old buddy <laughs> um this was also a doodle that I was practicing um, wet hair. Didn't come out the way I wanted it to, but I'm all right with that. I was also practicing another pose for Mermaid. Didn't work out. So I left it, and nothing says I can't come back to these later in the in the future and see these and, and rework on them. Oh, look! Blank paper. Um, <laughs> this is a rock monster. I legit just started sketching out shapes and... Um, kind of came up with something I'm skipping things um here's another pose that I never finished <laughs> um dragon's heads I was working on here I was actually working on trying to sketch out Thea um but I think at this point in time when I was doing this I was interrupted and shut my sketchbook and just never came back to it but again uh, I can come back to it in the future if I wish this, I was actually working on something for a friend of mine. I ended up changing what I did, but um, that's what some of these are. It's just more warm-up sketches. I do a lot of warm-up sketches in my sketchbooks. Um, 
I was practicing for some of my Zodiac pieces, which I did digitally, and I might actually go back and redo those. Um, this is another thing I was trying for a draw this in your style. Um, and after I did her head, I stopped because the rest of the pose was, it was a, a three quarters turned backwards. Um, so like a looking behind you and here is my baby dragon, the little sticker that's on the front. There it is. So what I did with that, um, to get my baby dragon, I did those line works, took a picture slapped it on my computer, rendered it in Clip Studio Paint, um, and then, ta-da! Uh, more sketches, more sketches. I was working on my Libra piece, um, and also, I really like the way this lantern came out, so I think I'm going to render this for something else. Um, I was working on sketches for Libra. Ariel, <laughs> which is hat. And just more doodles. I really like the way this guy came out. Um, he came out pretty nice. I was practicing witch poses, which is funny because the new prompt I have now, the um, prompt list. This is the piece that started Allura. Um, and as many of you know, she is my... Um, Allura is the picture that I have for my profile picture, but she will be a print, and I am so, so happy with the way she came out that she will be a print. Um, this, I'm, I just love, I love the way the shading in the face came out, and just the hair, and I, I love everything about this piece, um, which is why, which is why she is my, um, my profile picture on YouTube. So, that's, what I, I did, I sketched her out and I, I ran with it. More doodles. This is me trying to refine my own art style. And um, I like to draw faces a lot, so I'll draw the elements of things. Um, I think I was trying something here, but I don't know exactly what it was. But again, it's just some sketches. Oh, that's right. I was doing for Margaret. I was... Doing some sketches for Margaret. Here's one I was trying to figure out for my pirate Captain Solomon, um, who ap happens to have a skull face. I liked the way this sketch looked, um, but that's not how he looked in the original. And again, all these pieces that I'm saying will be um, some prints when I get my Etsy shop open. This is Luna, and I actually still have this piece. Um, she's going to be part of a giveaway. Let me grab her really quick. Oi! So, um, I have two of these small sheets of paper. Let's see, there she is. Um, so this one's gonna go inside of a frame, if I can words, words. So she's gonna go inside of a frame and then I have another sheet that I'm gonna do a thing on and then these two will be giveaways. Um, I might talk more about that on TikTok or my Instagram, so I'll have those links down below as well. Um, I'm not sure what was going on with the bottom half of this, but I know I was working on a logo slash sticker idea for myself. I was practicing emotes, drawing little mini emotes for Twitch or my Discord, again, practicing emotes. And this is what inspired my crystal stickers. Um, I've showed them on the channel thousands of times, so. Um, but some of these may actually end up being stickers as well. I was practicing a Medusa piece. It's a real pretty tiefling. Now we get to the inspiration of, and the be right back for when I st stream this on Twitch. Um, I came up with a character and she's actually in the universe I'm creating. And again, I can talk about that in another YouTube video if you guys want to hear about it. Um, more doodles. I was practicing different types of horns. I was reworking my sparrow piece. Um, and uh, I don't know if a lot of you know, but I did um, a, a tiefling 
uh, Wizard, my original D&D baby. Here I was testing out my Posca pens. More testing out of my Posca pens. And those are acrylic paint and markers. Um, I was trying to sketch one of my friends um, because I'm really terrible at drawing men and I'm a firm believer in just practice, practice, practice until you get better. Um, <laughs> and more talk about my, and these are covered up for reasons of no spoilers, um, <laughs> but these guys, this is a family in the universe that I'm creating and uh, these are all siblings. So Zan is the oldest and then Zor is the second oldest. I kind of have a crush on Zor. He's kind of cute. <laughs> um, and then it goes Shri and then Rin. And each of them have their own story. I won't cover them now because spoilers, spoilers. Um, but I'll talk about those in a different time. And these are their parents. Um, I believe one was a protector. The other one was a scientist. She works on the council now. Doodles at work. This is what I do when I'm at work. And then like the rest of these are all doodles at work. So this one actually um, was a page that I did and I ended up turning also into a print or it's going to be a print, but this is relax. Um, and she's a drow or a dark elf, depending. Um, I'm really, really happy with the way this came out and I love this pillow right here. It's just, it's oof, the shading is just on point. Um, and then there's just a little bit of watercolor on the back wall, but the majority of this is done in alcohol base markers and some, um, Prisma color pencils, I think. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Um, me working on something, I don't remember, or I was trying to go for a, another D&D &D character. warm-ups I don't know if you ever guys did the pfft, words wow I just like train wrecked all of that I don't know if you guys remember ever doing this in school but we did this all the time Woo! sorry throwing you around guys I'm getting violent look out we're almost done and now my new D&D &D baby Shreya she is a half orc monk with an attitude like nobody's business um, so I was trying to work out like her face, her hair, how many scars she had. Um, oh, Ben. I was working on a sticker design that actually happened to be rejected. This goes hand in hand. This is a badge that goes with um, one of the characters in my universe. Here I was practicing different thumbnails for Crystal Forest. And here's a shameless plug for my patron. Um, as part of last month's rewards on Patreon, um, I got a wallpaper. I made a wallpaper digitally for a cell phone, tablet, or computer, um, that my patrons got to download and put on either their cell phone, their tablet, or their computer. And this was one of the pieces. So that was, this was in the making way before I launched my Patreon. Um, but I'll have a link to that also below in the description. So if you guys want to become patrons, you can do that. This month's theme is Phoenix. Um, so for the art print for um, tiers two and up, you get a digital download art print. This one is a four by six, so it's a postcard size, um, an actual Phoenix. And then the um, wallpaper is going to be Phoenix Rises, which that's going to be spoilers. Um, I will talk more with my patrons about that. So, like I said, if you want in on that, join the patron. Um, this is some D&D stickers I'm working on. Um, this is when I started working on the dragons for the patron tiers. Um, this was the fire dragon. This was the water dragon. The Earth Dragon. And then just some more doodles. Some more warm-up sketches. Um, this one I was working on a dragon wrap twisted around a mountain, which I'll come back to that later. And then in this one, 
and give you guys a close up because you can't really see the sketches from there. I was practicing different types of hair, so like really tight curls, um, just long flowy hair, how it falls with the positioning of the head tilt, all of that. And then the last page, um, I was practicing clothing. So some of it I did get references for and everything else. The last cardboard piece has a phone number on it that we don't need to see. But um, yeah, guys, I know this is kind of a long video and uh, <laughs> oops. But, but like I said, I'll have all the um, artists that I referred to in today's vlog slash sketchbook tour thing. I don't know, words. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Although you guys will be seeing this on a Monday, unless you're a patron, then you'll be seeing this tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll have all the links, all the things, everything will be in the description box. So go check it out. There will be artists down there. Um, links to all my stuff, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord. I encourage you to join my Discord. I'm looking for looking for creative artists in my Discord. Or just people who like to chat. Um, Patreon will be in there. All the things. All the things. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate the bananas out of you. I appreciate you. And uh, have a colorful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.